Hello friends, welcome to my channel Go Digit. Today, in this video, I would like to inform you that uh, yesterday Microsoft has launched the new version of Business Central, that is Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central 2023 Release Wave One. So, guys, as we all know, that uh, the major version of the Business Central uh, uh, generally launch uh, twice in a year which is in April month and in the October month. So yes, yesterday because it was a third, third of April. So we have got our new version of the business central and uh, there are like uh, multiple ways through which we can uh, use or access this new version. Like if you are a Docker user, then you can create a doc, then you can use your current Docker script and through that uh, it will fetch out the uh, this 2023 version only because it has it has become the new current or the new stable one okay if you are using the on-prem version then uh, this is the link okay I will share this link in the description section as well where uh, you can easily download uh, the business central 2023 version based on uh, your country specific requirement right for example when you click here if you want w1 you can select that and download it and same goes for the other versions as well okay so it's totally depend on your need how you want to uh, or what version you want to download for your on-prem requirement now the third thing is that if you are running uh, the cloud version then uh, when you open the cloud version if you are a admin user then you can click on this admin center and it will open the business central admin center for you so here what you can do is that uh, obviously the production environment on which you are currently maybe you are using or 21 so you have a window of 60 days where you uh, it will be automatically update and also it will update your apps as well which are compatible with the pc22 okay but in, in case you want to try the sandbox environment okay uh, with respect to the bc22 so you can always do so by just clicking on the new button okay and when we click on the new button uh, it will give us the option to select the particular latest version which is bc22 so let's see that okay here it is so let me name it bc22 test because i want to try it as a sandbox I can select here sandbox and now I can select the country as let's say Australia and here you can see by default the version the latest version the stable version which gets selected here is 22.0541575.54644 so this is the latest build of the BC22 which is a stable one and it got auto selected we should not have to manually select any out of thing these things okay only one version is available this version is preview version so so no need to select this just go with this table one and when you click on create it will start creating a new sandbox environment of the stable new version which is bc22 right so with this way uh, i just want to tell you that uh, it's a time now to start using the new version and to start accessing the new features of the business central 22 version or 2023 release wave one so in, in this video i just wanted to inform you this particular thing only yes uh, in the coming days in the coming videos i will be uh, sharing the new features which has been introduced in this new version so stay tuned and i hope uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you so much guys.